Okay. Uh, is that like a direct on camera? <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Michael Rupel. I'm director here at Booth Gallery. Uh, and welcome to Horacio X. Oh, fuck. What do you want me to say? I'm the director at Booth Gallery. Welcome to Horacio's Exhibition Polarity, something like that. Okay. Um, so first, fuck. First solo U.S. exhibition. This is the hardest part. You guys can come in. Yeah. You know, I really, I do really like Horacio's work. It was one of those things that. You know, you, you can really see a certain level of very mature paint handling and, you know, conceptual ideas. And then, obviously, the back of each and every single canvas is, like, has drawing and writing. And, you know, there's a lot, there's a really a lot to get into. The gallery itself started from uh, the owner's name Paul Booth, and he's essentially like a, like a world-famous tattoo artist. And that started with Last Rite's tattoo in, like, the mid-90s. What I really like about Horacio's work is that in the contemporary representational painting sort of genre, um, which I would say Horacio falls into, it's really refreshing because a lot of the times it seems that a lot of the work within this genre is really kind of classical, conservative, you know, where this is really taking it for, it's really taking the work in a whole new direction. I've not seen anyone really attempt to do anything really discussing gender and, you know, transitioning and all that, you know, sort of masculine and feminine all within one. It is really sort of very unique in that sense. The paintings are beautiful and even when it is distorted, you, you can still find a way to sort of inject yourself into it, therefore then finding yourself kind of questioning like how you relate to it. Whenever you look at a piece of artwork, especially if it, it falls within the category of something representational, I think you always sort of find a way to insert yourself into it, and therefore it begs the question to sort of, how do I engage with this? How do I interact with it? Does art have to? No, but I think it inevitably it just does, especially when you're dealing with like the human condition and form and the figure and all kinds of things like that. You really you find a way to sort of inject yourself into the situation, even if it is kind of surreal, like, like Horacio's work. <laughs>